love. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a sneak peek at the customization in Halo Infinite. Now, a lot of Halo fans got their first chance to check out Halo this past weekend during the tech preview. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to verify my email and I didn't get in. However, one of my fans offered to help me out and let me play on their profile. So, shout out to the homie Devro HD for letting me play Halo this past weekend. I'm going to be showing you guys a sneak peek at the customization inside of the game, or at least what they have available in the tech preview. I think we get a good sneak peek at what it's going to offer in terms of customization. So, a couple things. Halo is going to be free to play in terms of the multiplayer, so we are going to see it monetized in a different format. There is going to be a season pass. There's no uh, set price on the season pass quite yet, but I will give you a sneak peek at it at the end of this video. Now, when you go in to customize your Spartan, you can customize a few things, starting off with the skin or the color of your Spartan. I'll go ahead and go through the colors that are available in the tech preview. Some of these colors were available right away, however, some of them needed to be unlocked. Typically, when it comes to Halo, I always used to pick a red Spartan because red is my favorite color. However, with Chivo Guides, I like to pick a green color, so I'm going to end up choosing green. However, I want to see all of the different color combinations that they have. It seems that they're getting a little more complex as we go down the line. Let's see here. I also like black and red. If I can find a cool black and red one, that would be dope. That one actually looks really cool. The blue and gold. Anyhow, I'm just going to choose uh, the basic green one. There we go. Alright, perfect. So, first and foremost, you can change the color of your Spartan. That's going to be the first thing that you're able to do in terms of customization. Now, our next customization category is going to be our helmet. The tech preview had a handful of helmets available, however they're definitely going to add a bunch more by the time the game launches and I can imagine as you know different seasons come out and the game gets older, they're going to add more and more inventory for these different customization categories like different paint setups, different helmets, etc. For instance, in some of the gameplay that Microsoft has put out, there's a samurai helmet. I was really hoping that we would get a chance to take a look at the samurai helmet, however it was not available in the tech preview. So, I'm just going to show you guys a full spin of each of the five helmets. This third one is the Enigma helmet. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this one. Again, I was really looking forward to the Samurai helmet. Um, at first, during the tech preview, you only had the base helmet unlocked. You had to unlock the other four helmets. So, most of the people that were playing the tech preview had that first helmet. And this is definitely the coolest helmet. It's kind of like the Halo Reach helmet. That's pretty sick. Now, believe it or not, the customization goes one layer deeper. You can actually add attachments to your helmet. For instance, this is the attachment for the Zvezda. So yeah, you may be wondering, how can I unlock more helmets? Well, you would either need to get them for free in the free version of the Season Pass, or you would need to purchase the Season Pass, which would give you a much better chance at unlocking helmets and more cosmetics. Other than that, you would need to purchase them from the shop. Next, we have Visor Color. Personally, I like the classic one. It's all the way over here on the right, but we have seven different options. At first, you only have that first option available. So yeah, so far we have paint, helmet, visor color. Next, we have chest. You can change your chest plate. We have a second option right here. We have a jack plate, a cooling unit plate, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. But at first, I only had this one available, which is kind of your traditional Master Chief chest plate. We also have shoulder pads. We have four different options for shoulder pads. Again, I had to start off with the only one available, which was option one. You can have a different shoulder pad on the other side. However, I'm not too sure why you would want to do that. I like things being symmetrical, personally. And then you have gloves and then wrist. There were no other options for those two. Um, it only had one glove option, one wrist option. And we also have hip three different hip options. And then our final category for customization is going to be knee pads. And we have three different options for knee pads. So yeah, I went ahead and set up my first Spartan. Judging by the character selection screen right here, where it says 
I'm selecting the Mark 7. I can imagine they may end up adding additional characters where you'll be able to maybe customize other types of enemies or Spartans. So we can go inside of the weapons and you can customize the skin or the coating on your weapon as well. As of the tech preview, this was the only customization option for the weapons was changing the coating or paint, skin, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing all of the different weapons available in the tech preview, I'm going to be uploading a video showing you guys all of the different weapons and uh, vehicles available in the tech preview, which is pretty cool because there are some brand new weapons and there are some brand new vehicles. Now outside of that, they also have a prosthesis category, which is like prosthetics, artificial limbs. So if you want a fake arm or a fake leg, you can do so. There's actually like three or four different options for the prosthetics. So yeah, maybe you want a robot arm or something like that to kind of mix it up. You know, or maybe you want a story behind your Spartan. Maybe your left arm got blown up by a grenade or something like that, or who knows. But you can customize it however you want. You can even, you know, choose whether it's the left or right arm that you have a prosthetic on. So yeah, that's going to pretty much cover it for the options or customization options in prosthetics. And then our final option for customization is going to be the AI model. You can change uh, the different AI model, the shape, as well as the color. Now, I wasn't a really big fan of any of these. I decided to go with the little prism. And then for the AI color, I'm going to go ahead and choose red. There we go. And that's pretty much going to cover all of the customization options that were available in the Halo Infinite tech preview. I'll also go ahead and give you a sneak peek at the battle pass because that has a lot to deal with the customization as well because that's how you're going to unlock a lot of cosmetics for the most part. Now the battle pass is going to cost money. I'm not too sure exactly how much it's going to cost quite yet. Um, when you signed up for the tech preview, they gave you 3000 credits and the season pass was only, um, I think like 250 uh, credits or something like that. So. You can also go to the shop, which you can purchase the different skins or purchase the different helmets, whatever you want, but you're going to have to use your credits. I'm not too sure exactly what they call these credits quite yet. Actually, on the lower left-hand corner, it said buy credits, so literally, I guess they're just called credits. You also have um, like daily goals or daily challenges, and if you accomplish those, I think you can earn some credits. Now, let's go ahead and check out the battle pass. You have the free version, which you would only unlock the different things that say free above it. I think there's only three right here on the first page. So if you were playing the free version, you would only unlock uh, four different items on this first page. Compared to you would unlock nine different cosmetics or items if you had the actual battle pass. So let's go ahead and purchase the battle pass. I have 3000 credits. It's going to cost 250 credits. Go ahead and buy that. They gave us the credits for free anyhow. This is going to be very similar to a traditional battle pass in a lot of other games like Fortnite, Apex, things like that. They have the free version and then the paid version of the battle pass. So this is going to enable us to unlock basically a new cosmetic or item every time we level up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the roadmap. Level 1, we unlock a challenge swap. Level 2, we're going to unlock our first helmet, which is really awesome because you only have one helmet available when you first start off in the tech preview. Keep in mind, this is probably going to be a different roadmap it unlocks for you because this is Season 0, which is basically for the tech preview. Our third unlock is a custom paint job, and then an XP boost, and then a visor color, the rampant color specifically, another challenge swap, and then a shoulder pad another shoulder pad i think that's the same one but for the other side another custom paint job another xp boost another visor color that's the goblin color another paint job another xp boost another visor color another challenge swap another xp boost another shoulder pad a matching shoulder pad for the other side another challenge swap another visor color, another paint job, 
another challenge swap and then we have a knee pad that's a first a custom paint job xp boost another custom paint job another xp boost another visor color the dragoon that one's pretty sweet another challenge swap another knee pad and then the trailblazer helmet for level 20 so if you were able to level up to level 20 in the tech preview you would have unlocked all of those cosmetics assuming you purchased the battle pass if you didn't purchase the battle pass you would probably only have unlocked like seven or eight of those uh 20 items and similar to fortnite if there's something that you really have your eye on in the battle pass and you don't have time to grind it you can pay to level up it's going to cost 200 credits to level up once so maybe the cosmetic that you want is five levels ahead, but it's the last day of the season. You can pay 1,000 credits and automatically level up five levels and get the cosmetic that you want. Other than that, that's going to cover everything that you guys need to know, or at least that has been revealed so far in terms of the customization in Halo Infinite. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.